Good morning, Modern Steaders. We're not gonna be pouring concrete today. I couldn't get a delivery till tomorrow. You ladies hungry? Maverick, Goose, go under. There you go. I was kind of disappointed about that because I want to get the sauna tubes filled with concrete so we don't got to worry about them anymore. We keep getting a lot of rain here. We've had some get washed out on us, so tomorrow it's going to be here, which is a good thing because we're going to have time to prep for our fall and winter gardens today. Good morning, Figaro. This is our first season with our greenhouse here. We're in growing zone 4B. So we're trying to figure out all of our different planting dates. We want to maximize our greenhouse and be able to grow in it all winter long without heating it. So we got to get our carrots, beets, lettuce, spinach, and all that fun stuff planted and figure out what's the best dates for our area. This will be a fun experimental year for our winter gardens. Right, it's going to be fun to experiment this year with the winter gardens and the oh, greenhouse. Yeah. 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 Who's the okay, first don't one out? Don't disappoint me, thank you, girl. <laughs> Come on, Figaro. I hear Good you. Job. Good girl. Too many days in the darkness without a glimpse of the light. Running tired and broken and scared, but I swear I'll never give up the fight. I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Every part of you wants to see You need some more alfalfa pellets yeah. You ladies ready to come out? <laughs> come on kiddos Buttercup had to go and find some apples first. This morning I jumped out of bed and I thought I heard the pigs starting outside my bedroom window. So then I came out here, walked around, but they were still on the pasture pig mobile sleeping. Whew, you ladies had me scared. I thought you were loose running around the yard eating the garden. Don't touch it. Where'd you leave your bucket? Over here. I heard the snort not once, but twice. So the second time I jumped up, because the first time I'm like, nah, that can't be the pigs. The second time I was like, uh-oh. Uh, I don't know what it was, because the pigs were in the pasture pig mobile sleeping. So I'm happy to see they didn't escape. So the meat birds are chirping quite a bit this morning. I don't know if you can hear them over Nora, but that usually means they need food or water. So let's see. Yep, they finished up their water last night. Good morning guys and ladies. There you go. They're looking really healthy. We've only lost that one so far. Now we're getting some fresh water. It's funny, once you've had your animals for a little while, let me rinse this out. You can tell by what noise they're making that something's going on. You know, most animals talk and chirp and make different noises and you know what's their normal. And then you can tell like, wait a minute, there's something going on, something different. So with the meat birds, you can totally tell it. Okay, they're either out of food or out of water. You gonna test that first for us? No? All right. 
so we check on them at least three times a day. So I know they had water when we put them to bed. So they drank their water between, say, 9 o'clock last night and 6 o'clock this morning. This should make you happy. Only one taker. I guess they're not that thirsty yet. I know I want to get planted some carrots for our succession planting for our fall and winter garden. So I need to add some phosphate rock, Ted. I'm also going to add some green sand. Carrots, I love these amendments. Looks just like green sand. <laughs> Do you want to do one and a half rows of carrots today, or do you want to do one and a half rows of beets, or do you want to save half a row for something else? We got half a row right here by our rutabagas. This can either go carrots, beets, or something else. We also need to start some lettuce and spinach in seed trays today, so later on we pull out our potatoes and our string beans. We'll have transplant stalks that we can take and put right into these beds for winter growing. Give this bed a good raking. Last time we did the carrots, we planted them this way in the rows, which doing them that way, we can't use our drip irrigation. So this time we're going to plant three long rows this way, and we'll put the drip irrigation going through it, and I won't have to hand water it every day. One of the big reasons we did the greenhouse is so we can do fall and winter gardening, and a lot of our reading says that carrots, beets, all your greens, like your lettuce and your spinach, taste so much sweeter growing them in the fall and winter. So we're really looking forward to that this year. We're also trying different varieties for growing. Right now we are trying on the carrots. I have Johnny's Select Seeds. These are a hybrid early carrot. It's supposed to be really good for fall, for early spring and fall and winter carrots. So I'm excited to try these. They are tiny. Look at them, different looking. Yeah. So this time when you thin them, or I thin them, to save the tops. So you can do pesto again? Yeah. I actually just saw another recipe for pesto, carrot top pesto, so. Oh, you did? Yeah. This is just carrot tops. The last time I did basil and carrot tops. Oh, okay. That'll be fun to try it, just carrot tops, so that way we can see how they taste by themselves. Yeah, I just didn't have enough. Covering them with the cardboard last time really worked in our germination. We had a really good germination rate. We're gonna plant the second crop of green beans today. We've never been able to do that before in our climate. So that's pretty exciting. The rutabagas smell good. Putting down some blood meal right now for nitrogen for the green beans.
real fancy around here. Whatever works. We're going to be doing some bush beans from Baker Creek heirloom seeds. I'm really looking forward to our fall garden, I think the most. Other than the tomatoes and cucumbers, it's going to be nice to have fresh produce in the fall. I'm hoping to get enough beans to do French style. Well, we're first trying to get the carrots to germinate. We're not going to use the drip irrigation, but I want to make sure we have it in place so when the carrots are growing, we can turn it on. We don't have to worry about trying to install it and ruining our little starts. Put our ends on our drip tape. Tighten it up. Pop. Silly man. I like hand watering the carrots when they're baby seeds just because if you get too carried away with water pressure, it can wash the seeds out pretty easy. Then you want to cover your carrot seeds with something. If you have a sheet, if you have a plastic tarp or whatever, we use cardboard and we find it's worked really well for us. And it's readily available sitting around usually in the basement. We got some cucumber harvest that needs to happen. But now some of them are probably too big. Wow, that one is. <laughs> we will get a game plan for that. We've got our first little eggplant going right. Here, look uh -huh. at that. Never grown eggplant. No, nope, we never have. And then we have another flower right there. That'll be another fruit. And then Gino's just pointing out some. Look at the watermelon. It looks like a gumball right there. Ah. Man, look at all them cucumbers. We got some pickles to make. I thought I planted all bush beans, but I 
the green beans we planted are pole beans. Not the prettiest, but all we needed to do is to be able to grow green beans like that. You have green bean on it? Yeah, one right oh my there. Goodness. That one's ready for eating. I gotta show you something. So our potato plants are starting to die back, some of them. Oh, yes. Well, how did you just see that over the ground? No, I kind of... Oh, you already moved it. I dug in to see. Well, you I thought it was right there. I don't know if we have more or not, but they're not done yet. It's the only one I'm feeling. We got one nice one so far. So I'll keep an eye on the plants and pretty soon we should be able yeah, to harvest our potatoes. Right yeah, we got some peppers over there looking good. The banana peppers are starting to turn a mild green, so once they get yellow, they'll be perfect. I rinsed that potato off that looks so good. The skin's still pretty thin, so we want to keep them in the ground so they get a thicker skin. Because if they have a thin skin like this, they won't store very long. So we'll let them keep going a little bit longer. Now we want to get started some more beets, spinach, lettuce mixture and then some more rutabagas for our fall slash winter garden. I'm afraid if we don't start them in these little blocks, when our potatoes and other vegetables are ready to come out, it'll be too late in the season to start from seeds. I know they say not to start root vegetables in soil blocks or trays, but we've had really good luck starting everything this way. We've already eaten some of the beets that we started this way. And Thank they you. Are delicious, yeah. They are yummy. I'm gonna start crocodile spinach in these two trays. Careful. Might bite you. Careful. She might. Now we've never started spinach or lettuce like this before, but a lot of market gardeners do it this way, so it's going to be interesting to see what the outcome is. going right here they're almost ready to go in as soon as their roots develop so we can pull these plugs out and they all stay together we're gonna transplant them in the greenhouse going to get set up for some more beets. The one thing we don't want to have happen is we don't want to have an empty greenhouse come fall because we didn't plan ahead with our transplants.
need to wait for them to sprout. And remember, we gotta water them every day. That sometimes is the tricky part. Every year, the Kubota starts running like dog doo doo, and it did it this year on me when we were mowing the new pasture the other day. And I said, I know what that is. The fuel filter ends up getting plugged up with junk and it starts running rough and doesn't want to idle right. So we need to get in here and change it out. Hoping we can do it without taking off the mowing deck. Change my clothes, put some gloves on. So let's see if we can get this done. It's never a fun job because I put it in the most awkward position. Every year I say I need to reroute the fuel line and put an external fuel filter on the front for this, but I never have. Maybe this year I will. But what ends up happening is this filter right here gets sediment in it so it doesn't allow the fuel to flow to the front, to the fuel injectors, so it starts idling rough. So, yep, as you can see, that one's pretty dirty right there. when it's the easy fixes like that you wouldn't think a fuel filter could make it run that rough but it does they're waiting for you they really are they're just getting right by the gate yep of their cmc what are you guys doing now come on guys go under the gate while we got it open for you you silly Hopefully we get more eggs today than we did yesterday. How many eggs do you think? I think that there's going to be 14. 14, that would be nice. How many eggs are you thinking? 12. 12? I'm going to go with 10. I would like 14. Ooh. I don't know. Two. Four, six, how many eggs are you thinking? Eight, Ooh. nine, ten. And then one lady's been loving laying inside New York City. So 11, that is true. Hope, Ivy, Nora, where you hiding? Oh, that's funny. Just to you. Hope knows her name. Know you sunbathing, Pluto? Huh? Does that feel good? Well, the boys are loving where their new spot is. Is it tasty in there or what? You seem to be enjoying yourselves. Did you ladies lay any eggs? I'm hoping we got at least one from the black copper moran. Right, to get a full dozen? That'd be nice. It'll be nice the day they're all laying. Oh, you got one. Thank you, lady. Oh, I wonder if Gina's snakes are gone. No snakes. No snakes. Unless they went back under these logs. Nope. We have a couple of good sized zucchinis that got away from us. So, what I do with these are either chop them up and save it for zucchini bread 
or make zucchini lasagna or zucchini boats. So tonight we're gonna have a zucchini lasagna. And I'm gonna use the mandolin, so don't tell Al because he doesn't like the mandolin. I'll be careful, I promise. Okay. I'm just gonna get one slice off of here. I'm not gonna keep that one. 12 will be good. One, two, All right, so then I'm just gonna take a tablespoon of salt and sprinkle it on over these zucchinis and it will help drain out some of the water in them. And I'll let it sit while I'm getting everything else ready. So it's cooked up my meat here. Round it up. Now I'm just gonna add sauce. This is just store-bought in, but I'm hoping soon I can make my own pasta sauce, tomato sauce. Really excited. I'm just gonna spray my lasagna pan so I don't forget, or my table counter, just so stuff doesn't stick. Do ricotta cheese. I just use the whole container. This one is 15 ounces. I'm gonna dump some Parmesan cheese in there. I'm just gonna, I think, finish the rest of that container. I would say it's about a quarter a cup, maybe a little more. And then one egg. I think it looks like a good amount. And just cut slices in that. And then, because I want them a little smaller, I'll just cut like that down the center so it would be halved. Spread it over that. Get some cheese on top. Now, if you're able to grow a fall slash winter garden in your area, do you grow one? And what is your most favorite vegetable to grow? Leave it in the comments down below. I'm curious what else we should be trying to grow this season. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. In tomorrow's video, 
is going to be pouring concrete. We have that lined up and I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for coming along and we'll see you guys right back here in the next video.